Hi everyone, today we want to explain what is RPW. So, Red Palm Weevil, RPW, Rhinchophorus ferruginus is an invasive insect pest of date palm, Phoenix dactylifera, and several other palm species. RPW causes damage in most date producing areas of the world, particularly in the Middle East and North Africa. The weevil is currently managed by insecticide application, removal of infested palm trees, and mass trapping of adult weevils. However, there is an over-reliance on insecticide applications. This could be addressed by the development of better techniques for early detection that together with new control methods would lead to more sustainable control. Phytosanitary certificates and quarantine measures for the import and transport of seed and plants from one place to another and enforcement that penalizes illegal transportation of date palms have helped to reduce the spread of the weevil. RPW Life Cycle The RPW belongs to the order Coleoptera and the family Curculionidae. The insect undergoes four developmental stages to complete its life cycle, namely egg, larva, pupa, and adult, figure 2. The egg is elongated, 2.5 by 1 millimeter, with a shiny creamy white color. A newly hatched larva measures only 5 by 2 millimeters and weighs about 1 milligram, while the final larval and star can reach 5 by 2 centimeters and weigh between 4 and 7 g before pupation. The final larval and star forms a barrel-shaped cocoon made from palm tree fibers measuring 7 by 4 centimeters, while the pupa inside is 3.5 by 1.5 centimeters, El Shafi and Falero, 2020, Abdul Banat and El Shafi, 2021. The RPW has a great capacity for flying and can travel 10 to 50 kilometers per day, which helps to explain its successful dispersal over large palm-growing regions, Hoddle et al., 2015. Organic volatiles released from fresh wounds on the palm attract and stimulate adult females to lay their eggs. They usually prefer date and coconut palms under 20 years old and lay the eggs in cracks and crevices of soft or wounded tissues. A single female weevil can lay over 200 eggs during its life. The eggs hatch after 3 to 6 days and the larvae feed during 7 to 16 instars inside the palm tree tissues, where they gain weight over 35 to 100 days and therefore cause a high degree of plant damage, figure 2. The final larval instars pupate in cocoons, and after 13 to 17 days adult winged weevils emerge. The male weevil is distinguishable from the female by the presence of soft reddish-brown hairs on the dorsal side of its elongated snout, figure 2. The female snout has no hairs and is longer, slender, and with a little downward curvature relative to the male snout. The adult weevils leave the palm seeking new food sources and suitable mates and can live for up to four months. An infested palm tree may contain several overlapping generations of weevils. Overposition is strongly affected by temperature. Under laboratory conditions, 25 to 27 degrees Celsius, the RPW develops from egg to weevil in 3 to 4 months. However, in the Mediterranean region, the larval stage can span a prolonged period of up to 5 months during the cooler winter season and early spring, Dimbilio and Jackas, 2011. Cultivar Differences some date palm cultivars have a hard trunk that is difficult for the RPW to penetrate, and in such cases, the weevil will attack the softer apical growing point. The cultivar Segi shows apical infestation more than other cultivars because the fronds, leaves, bend downwards, thereby exposing the soft parts of the frond base, where the weevil can more easily dig and lay its eggs. Similarly, the heavy weight of fruit bunches of some cultivars pushes the fronds downward thus exposing the tender tissues to weevil attack, Falero et al., 2014. RPW Symptoms The main symptoms of RPW infestation usually appear up to 1 meter above soil level on palm trees less than 5 years old. If tissue damage is extensive it can result in the toppling of the trunk, figure 3a. For palms between 5 and 12 years, which usually have a trunk more than 2 meters in circumference, the infestation takes place 1 to 1.5 m above the ground. 
In palms older than 25 years, infestation occurs mostly in the crown, apical infestation, of both female and male individuals, figure 3b and inset, and on aerial offshoots when the weevil population is high. An indication of an early infestation is frass, larvae excrement, at the base of fronds, figure 3c, followed by drying and wilting of the outer and older fronds, figure 3d. Fruit bunches and offshoots are also affected. Infested trunks may show oozing of a brownish viscous fluid, which together with frass has a fermented odor, figure 3e. Sometimes both adults and pupae can be found at the base of the fronds and on the ground near infested palms. Insecticidal control. Experience has shown that sole dependence on pheromone trapping of adult weevils without additional control methods often leads to outbreaks. Preventive and curative insecticidal treatments are therefore essential for efficient RPW management. Treatment of palms in the early stage of infestation is an integral part of a management plan as the infested palms often recover after application. Early detection is difficult because the weevil resides inside the palm trunk and canopy. Currently, the most common way to detect RPW infestation is done by well-trained personnel using visual inspection of individual palm trees and sampling with hand screw probes. Insecticides can be applied using different methods such as spray application, soil drench, or using a trunk microinjection technique. However, insecticides are expensive, and excessive application of insecticides can harm the environment and may also lead to the development of chemical resistance in weevil populations, Abdul Banat and El Shafi, 2021. Examples of Successful Management Programs a study of RPW management was conducted in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia between 2007 and 2012 in the district of Al Goweba, Hadal et al., 2013. This district is part of the Al Asa Oasis, which is the world's largest oasis consisting of 3 million palm trees grown on 530,000 square kilometers of fertile land. The Al Goweba district has around 185,000 palm trees grown on 1,104 hectares, with about 222 individual date palm farms ranging from 5 to 20 hectares. The area produces date fruits worth 14.8 million U.S. dollars annually, primarily from cultivar callas that grown on 70% of the acreage. Three years after the initial identification of the RPW in al Qadif, the weevil invaded the al Asa oasis in 1991. For many years, the RPW was managed through palm tree inspection, pheromone trapping of adults, insecticide application, and removal of highly infested palms that could not recover. Management practices in Al Goweba specifically between 2006 and 2009 comprised bait traps placed at relatively low density, 0.08 trap per ha, an inspection of trees in areas with the highest weevil catches, insecticide treatment of 6% of the palm trees, e.g. 11,000 palms in 2008, and removal of infested palms. However, the infestation rate was 3.7% of palm trees, which is relatively high and necessitated a change in management strategy. Consequently, RPW monitoring, pesticide control, and tree removal were intensified the following year. The number of insecticide-treated palms increased dramatically to 2.9 applications per year using nine different insecticide products, four organophosphates, three pyrethroids, one neonicotinoid, and one carbamate. Palm tree removal in 2009 was three times higher compared to 2007 and 2008, figure 5C, and by 2011, the rate of trap deployment was 0.9 trap per ha, 91% increase. The combination of these control measures resulted in a reduced RPW population and less use of insecticides in the following years. By 2012, insecticide use decreased by 91% compared to 2009, figure 5C, palm removal was 89% of the 2009 level, figure 5A, and RPW captures decreased by 86% relative to 2010, figure 5B.
The overall impact of the intensified RPW management in Algoeba was a reduction in infestation rate from 3.7% to 0.36% palm trees over three years. Similar management methods in al Qadif reduced the rate of RPW infestation from 6.6% to 2.5% palms. Deployment of pheromone baited traps integrated with other tactics was also effective in the Sultanate of Oman, where the RPW infestation dropped from 24% in 1998 to 3% in 2003.